briefly about Amtech, this first slide, uh, we have been founded in 1993. We are a privately owned company and uh, we are located in Czech Republic, operate in Czech Republic and Slovakia, more than 50 employees. And uh, we have two major divisions. First division is for electronic industry and we deal with uh, PCB assembly, printed circuit boards. And we have division for robotics. And uh, as for this division, we are distributor and also integrator of universal robots and all accessories to universal robots, uh, which means robotic grippers, on robot grippers, and so on. And the same way uh, we distribute and represent on our market MIR and also some companies uh, which were mentioned like Roeque, Norm modules that uh, are also accessories for MIR. We have also individual division that makes integration and automation projects for customers to integrate robotic solutions. This means we are not uh, only software company, uh, but we really practically deal with the robots and we know what are the requests of the customers. And that is basically why we developed uh, Amtech communication box module. So the input was actually from customer who knew that in MIR software, we have the possibility to evacuate robots in case of fire alarm. But how do we get uh, this signal from customer's fire alarm system into MIR system? And uh, this was the, basically uh, based on, on this, we developed device that is able to transfer digital input digital signal from any device into a REST API command for the robot. So this REST API command can be sent either to robot or to MIR fleet, doesn't matter. This is practically how it works. So on the input of Amtech box, we have digital signal, meaning either logical one or logical zero. And this signal is by the Amtech communication box converted into either REST API or Modbus command. We have two versions of the device, LAN version and Wi-Fi version. This means uh, that the signal can be transferred by Ethernet cable, for example, directly to the robot, or can be transferred by uh, wireless network, either to Mir fleet server or directly to robot. What else is that we can also define REST API both for logical one and for logical zero. And we can do this for five inputs. So imagine a situation that your customer would like to have a control panel with five buttons. Each of these buttons can be individually programmed to convert into individual REST API command. Apart from REST API, we can also work with uh, PLC registers, integers, and floating. Uh, and we can work also with Modbus Boolean commands that are supported by MIR. So some samples, how to use it or what to do with the box is for example that uh, you have a, a button somewhere in production by which you want to pause the robot, unpause the robot, you want to launch a defined mission, 
or program individual buttons for different missions because we had uh, the wireless WISE module, but this WISE, uh, WISE module is only uh, serving as a digital input for the robot. It cannot launch mission. So the, this is the, the biggest benefit of Ampeg communication box that by signal you can launch mission or you can launch this evacuation procedure in case of fire alarm. We can also work with PLC registers. So any, any of the digital inputs can be programmed uh, to alter either integers or floats that are embedded in the MIR system. So we can also work uh, with these, with changes in these registers. I will show you in a while. And the same way, we support these six commands that are in the chart, which are supported by MIR for the Modbus communication. And uh, this is uh, basically that you can set for each <clears throat> of the digital inputs if you want to use REST API or Modbus. Uh, this is, will be also shown in a short video after, uh, after this presentation. <clears throat> the interface of Antec communication box is uh, web-based. So we can connect uh, either by LAN cable or by uh, wireless network uh, to the box. And then we see uh, either homepage with uh, the status of each of five inputs. We can name the inputs. So the, we have now evacuation, mission run. Um, so we can give any name as we wish to, to the inputs. And then we have uh, also web interface uh through the web browser we can actually program uh parameters of our communication box which means we can set ip address uh, and network parameters and we can set parameters for each of the digital inputs basically the the device uh, can be powered directly from from the robot battery. What we need, we need working voltage is 24 volts and nothing specific. Uh, basic parameters you have here, uh, some deeper technical parameters. If you would like to ask, uh, you can ask my colleague Pavel Zavodny in the chat. He is present also in this, uh, this meeting or by email later on. And now I would like to show you some short videos. First is showing that when you have the box, how you connect and set IP address uh, for the Ampe communication box. So there is some default IP address of the device from manufacturing. That you do manually at first. And after connecting, you get the status page. And then you get the settings page. And hereby, you can uh, change the parameters of settings, if you wish.
done. So this was how you connect. And I have also short insight. of the web interface where you can see how you configure the inputs. So you can choose either Modbus or REST API. Then you enter IP address of the device where you want to send the REST API command. So this would be IP address of a robot or mere fleet. Then you put a name of, uh, of this digital input. then sending method put and then we uh, basically put the string for the rest api command and as you can see we can have different path for logical one and logical zero, which mean when is button pressed or when is button unpressed. And then we have a body for each request. Then we have to, of course, uh, copy the authorization in case we want want to work with uh, Mir, we need to put also authorization string. And now in the Mir interface, we will, we will show you how the how it is executed so you see the the command was to pause the robot and unpause the robot and by switching the digital input the robot will go to pause and then will be unpaused 